as you mentioned, Anna uh, was saying that there's a student from Stanford and Yale. Um, you know, I'm very much that admire all of you that able to dance and study in a such great university. So, and I'm not sure how much is your um, um, level in dance. Am I able to st start with the both hand on the bar first position? Uh, yeah, we're like all between like intermediate and advanced. So feel free to challenge us. Okay, perfect. So let's do it. Um, let's do both hand on the bar. I'm, I'm, I'm at home, so I don't have bar, but you know, use anything you have. And also if you could adjust to um, ankle that I can see your whole body would be great. I hope you guys are warm, but you know, between the screen, I, I still wanna make sure. So just a little warm up. Let's do, open your arm, do uh, 16 of this. Relax your shoulder. Eight more. Yes. Breathe. Okay, another side, reverse. Great. Okay, and then you have your elbow face up, stretch your tricep and shoulder. You can bend over if you want. Nice. Another side. Okay, have one one of your arm. Let's do your left arm on your back in here. Another arm, stretch your neck. Great. If you don't feel the stretch, let's use your another elbow face down. Go to, go to the opposite side. Great. Okay, now the side. Good. Okay, let's do both hand up, come down. down. Go back, finger cross, and then stretch your shoulder. And let's come up. Three more times. Go down, finger cross, stretch. Let's come up. Two more times. Go down, stretch. Relax your head. One more time. And go down, stretch. Fold your whole body. Stretch your hamstring. Okay, and then let's um, stand in a se huge second position. Stretch your spine. If you can hear my back cracking. <laughs> okay. Stretch your shoulder with a bar or anything you have. Here we go. Nice. Stay there. Stay there. Right. Relax your shoulder part. Yeah, the more the better. Okay, come up. Good. Let's do a first patient undo. Good job. Let's do one and first. Tandu and plie. Tandu to the side. Two to the first. Back, first. Back and plie. 
and two to the side, two to the first and left, one and first, one and plie, tendu round the round, two to the first, back to the first, back to the first plie, tendu round the round and two first. Let's do a stretch side, plie chasse, second point your feet, open to your left, and then we do pull the bra front, four counts front, four counts back, left, pull the bra side, pull the bra side, open, and then stretch your hamstring, four and four. Okay, so we do. Tandu first, tandu and plie, tandu round round and two first, tandu. First, tendu and plie. Tendu round the round and two to the first. Tendu, first. Tendu, plie. Tendu round the round, two, first. Tendu, back. Tendu, plie. Tendu round the round and two, first. All the tendu is trying to go through the dimmy point, okay? I really want to see the articular in your feet. Ready? Let me share the music. Okay, so Anna, can you give me the host, the permission of the host? Okay. Okay, I'm host now. I can share music. Ready? Six. Seven, eight. Tandu, first. Tandu, plie. Tandu, brother to the side. Two, to the first. And back, and first. Back, and plie. Back, round the run. To the first. Another side. Yeah, and do round the round two to this and back to dimmy point. Nice post back first and do round two to the first for the bra. Relax your ribs and chasse dance. Another side, put a bra. Good, just say. Good. Okay, really good. Plie, regular plie. So let's say one note. So from time to back, okay. From time to back, round round to the side, make sure that you relax your hip and not connect your hip like this. And I can still see your heel. Trying to put your heel down as fast as possible. There's a weight on your heel that you turn right away, okay? I see some of you doing this, the round the round. Make sure you put your inner thigh, they both turning out at the same time. Okay, plie. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Two dB, two and three, four. Ground plie, six, seven, eight. Put the bra front, two, three, four. Let's relevate, six, Time to second. One, two, three, four. Ground plie. Six, seven, eight. Put the bra in. Two, three, four. Relevé. Six, seven, eight, four. One, two, 
three, four, open your back knee, okay? I don't wanna see this. Both knee turn out. Ground plie, six, seven, eight. Flex, two, three, four, go back. Seven, eight. Fifth position, fifth position, actually start with, yeah, second. One, two, three, four. Ground plie, six, seven, eight. All the way around. Relevant stay here. Okay, two demi, one ground. Put the bra, releve. So first position, we do put the bra front. Second position, put the bra side. Both position, just flex, go forward and stretch your hamstring. If you want, you can stay there for eight counts or four, four counts and go back four counts. But when you stretch the fourth position, I want to have uh, your supporting leg clear and your working leg flex. Okay, there we go. Turn out your front foot. You can stretch your hip and that fifth position all the way around, really. Way. Yeah. Oh, maybe it was a dream about the fifth position all the way around. But I want to say that look, when we do front, side, back, like Every single of them, I want to see the maximum stretch. Not that front is just a little bit and then side you skip part of it. So this is a huge circle. Imagine your hand is touching the, uh, the wall all the way around, okay? They're even, yes, that's great. That's good, okay. Can you hear uh, the music and my voice clearly? Okay, great. Ready? Go. Seven, open, nice. And plie and up. Plie and up. Ground plie, six, seven, eight. Forward, stomach in, stretch your knee, elevate both heel forward. Nice. And second position, two, three, four. Round plie. Relevate both heel forward. Stretch your knee. Stomach in. Okay, four. Especially the back knee. Ground plie. Good, stretch. Supporting leg plie. Open your heel. Nice. And back or stay. Fifth position. Plie. Ground plie. Engage your glutes. All the way around. Ray Leve stay. Good, okay, relax. So there's a couple of things. Let's do, uh, before we do another side. So, so when we stand in the, let's say, um, when we do relevant first position or fifth position, let's imagine your pelvis bone and your head, they are, they are in one line, stretched to both sides. If you, if you have a, this kind of position, this is wrong. So make sure they are in a one piece. It's like one, you know, one line from your head to your toes. Okay, make sure that your, uh, all your ribs close in. Okay, and then another thing. Okay, when you do fifth position or all the position re uh, releve, make sure that your arm is not too high. Okay? They are right in front of your uh, belly button. Not so high. Okay, stay there. And then you can um, feel your lats. In here is in engaged. So when you turn, they are all they are in one part. 
okay? It's, we are already thinking about center when we do the bar. That's why we are doing the bar, not just because they are fun. Okay, another side. Ready, stomach in, let's go. Six, seven, eight, and plie, up, and plie, great. Round plie, open your knee, good. And forward, good, stretch your knee. Relevate both your forward. Nice, second position. Up, each time when you plie, and stretch straight. Good. Releve. Fourth position. Let's do fifth position. Nice fifth. Each time plie, and then each time stretch as much as possible. Stretch across from your thigh. Nice. Very nice. nice. All the way around. Stretch huge circle. Take your time. Beautiful. And relieve lower arm right in front right in front of your belly button. Engage your legs. Nice. Good. Relax. Okay, let's do first position time do. You do. Yes. Time do and in. Two time do. One time do and two quick. Back, two quick, one time do, second time do, first, and then reverse. One time do, first, two to the first. One time do, side, two to the side, one time do, front, and two to the front. Time do, second through dimmy point, and time do, and first. Same thing, another side. Time do, and first, and two to the first. Time do, and first, and two to the first. Undo, first to the back. And one hand do side. First, one and two and four. Side, six and seven, eight. One, two and three and four. Time do, second and. Let's do left, right, turn. Left, uh, left, no. Front, back, and then left, front, back. One and two and three, four, five and six, seven, eight. Back. And two, time do second down. Okay. Ready? Too slow. One second. And six, seven, eight. And side. And seven and eight. And back. And two, and side, second, first, and the back, and two back, one side, two quick, stomach in, front, stomach in, one side, okay, another side, seven, Eight, undo, first. Shoulder down. And back. And reverse, back. Beautiful. 
To see in your dance, I don't want to do it. Look, fifth, six, seven, eight, one, two, 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 slow and clear with arm or no arm. Okay, you can stay here if you think you can have an arm. So, five, six, slowly come down. One, two, and three, four, with arm or without six, and two quick, two, two counts, two, uh, two slow time do four. And five, also slow, but with the plie. Six and seven and eight, side, same thing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Let's do quick the pier back and find your balance. Two, eight, and then from quick the pier. Two, eight, find your balance. Okay, so, tandu and two. One tandu, one tandu in. Five and six and seven and eight. One and two, three and four. If you, you don't want to do arm, that's fine. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Clear. Six, seven, eight. Side. Same thing. Exactly the same. Five, six, seven, eight. It's much slower than this, okay? Could up here. Find your balance. And then could up here front. And find your balance. Same thing here. Where we just did the fifth position really big. We have exactly the same arm and legs and back, shoulder. This is the real position when we do a turn, go down, or from turn, go up. Okay, imagine that you are doing turn in the center. Not yet, not yet. Okay, so this is probably too quick. We'll use the same music as last time. Okay, fifth position, ready, go. Six, seven, eight. Clear. Yeah. Two times two. One, two, three. Bone do supporting leg. balance lower arm the leaner right a little bit lower arm okay find your front cut up here good beautiful okay now the side so there's one thing um when we do cut up here balance trying to stretch as much as possible with your supporting leg. Because I know once we find the balance, we want to, um, you know, find it with a little bit bended leg. It's easier, but it's not right. Because this will be the same position when we do the turn. So already think about stretch as much as possible right now, even though we cannot balance today, but we maybe we can do tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. So stretch maximum. That's it. Ready? Another side. And front, front, and again, front do six and seven and eight. Use your apple on, guys. Let's dance. And yeah, find your balance. 
Yes. Stretch your supporting leg. High demi point. Nice. It's okay. Let's find it. Okay. Once you find it, let's do front foot up here. Okay, relax. Let's do the tape. We we'll do two the tape, three, four, two PK and brush to the back, back and slow and one and two and brush to the front. Okay, so front and in, front and in and one and two and three, four, back and in, back and in and one and two and front. To the side, to the side, and one and two and three. To the side, to the side, and in and in and in. Passe. One, two, three, four, five, six, and stay there. Okay? One and two, three and four, and five, six. March to the back. One and two, three, X and out, and one and two and three. X and in, in and in. One, two, three. No. Out and in, out and in, 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 in. Out and in, out and in, 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 in. Okay, one more time. Front and in, front and in, and PK, PK, brush the back, back and in, back and in, and PK, PK, brush to the front, accent out, accent out. Now in, 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 out, in and out, in and in, in, in. Okay, it's much slower than this. Let me find the music. Okay, here we go. This is good. Are you guys ready? And fifth position. Ready, go. PK, PK, brush to the back, up, up, and PK, PK, brush to the front, side, in, side, in, 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 one, and two, three, four, and in, 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 passe. Okay, another side. PK, PK, back, good, and the back, in, back, in, and PK, PK, brush, side. Passe. High passe, higher. Higher. Prince, Miss Prince, higher. Okay, good, relax. So I wanna do this one more time. I, I did not see the supporting leg. It's high and straight. Well, it's good, but I wanna I want see better supporting leg. This supporting leg just as important as when we do the tape. I, we, we put all the attention out in, on our working leg, but we forgot our supporting leg. They has to be straight as much as possible. That's how we became more stable in the center, okay? Not only think about this. And then now, once we think about supporting leg, the working leg, they have to point it a little bit more. Now I don't see, you know, the pointed feet. Use your demi point, they are brushing down. So there's a power of going down. They are not only going out, you know, that we are not bringing out, bringing out our leg. We are pushing down. There's a power, both front side back. Let's do one more time. And. 
six, seven, eight, one. That's it. Brush down with power and PK, PK and brush back. Good. Supporting them much better. Good. Brush. Good. Stomach in. Three quick. Two slow. Two in. Good. Point your feet. Chin. Good. Pass it. Nice. Also point your feet until your toes. They're living up. Okay. Another side. And. Good. Beautiful. Okay, relax. Let's do round the rock. Five, six, seven. And eight, you do one and two and plie with body bra. Same thing, one and two and plie with body bra. We do 90 degree, passe, back and tendu. And let's do plie, same thing to the side, to the back, reverse. And two, round the rock and plie to the front. Two, round the rock, and plie to the front. We do plie, passe, front, tendu. Plie to the side, to the front, tendu. And then we do put the bra, and back, and stretch like this. You can go back and stretch. And this is for one side. Okay, two, Round the round and plie and two round the round and plie and front passe back and plie to the side to the back. Okay, um, so when we do round the round, big uh, ground round the round, we do plie, right? I know some of you have a higher front or higher side and maybe lower back, that's okay but trying to make them more even. I don't want to see front, side, and then back. So if I cannot do such high leg for the side, we keep in the same position. They're more even, like in the same level, that's it. They're much quieter than we thought. Okay, if, you, if we can do high, try, trying to challenge ourselves, use your heel to go up, point your feet and stay there in the same level to go up. Good. Ready? And. And A. Drum, drum. And clear. Use your head. Drum, drum. And clear. 90 degree, passe, and back, and front, side, stem level, good, reverse, forward good stretch Veronica Chen when you when we do run the wrong front your supporting leg is bended trying to push it down
She's stretching. You can do some panche if you want. On the toes. Beautiful. Nice stretch. Okay, let's do another side. You're doing great. Ready? And round, round, clear, back, round and round. And clear to the back, and from the bone pass it back, and the bone. Let's try not to move your hip. Okay, and reverse. Beautiful. Supporting leg. We are working our this leg by supporting leg. Pass it. Stretch, supporting leg, supporting leg, and back. Stretch your supporting leg, everyone. Good. And stretch. Good. Beautiful. Fondue. I don't know how many of you love doing fondue because it's challenging. Fondue to the front and fondue front. Fondue to the back and attitude fondue to the arabesque. Fondue to the side. Clear. To the side, unlean, unlean, double unlean, and close fifth. Fondue, reverse, and plie, and back. Fondue to the front, and attitude to the front. Fondue to the side, attitude to the side. Unlean, unlean, and double to the fifth. Okay, and then we should have music. Passe, attitude and find your balance, take your time. And then, alumbre, close fit. Okay. One side at a time, fondue to the front, attitude, back, fondue to the back, fondue. Fondue to the side, attitude, and unlean, unlean, double. So there's one thing I really wanna see all of you. After the fondue, Fondue, here, close a nice tight fit. Okay, same thing to the back. Close and transfer to another side. And after onions, there's another chance to close a tight fit. Okay, because we need that in the center, close. All right. Fondue, ready? And seven, fondue, keep going, fondue back, fondue back, side, and a little bit, 
，昂脸，昂脸 ，and close feet。And passe attitude. Inside leg, inside leg, everyone. That's it. Attitude. Okay, close. Careful. Okay, good. So when we do attitude, I really want to see. From the passe to attitude, it's from your knee. Here, passe, right? I see a lot of the heel going. This is wrong. So open up from your knee here, and then trying to. If I see from the back, my toes, it's cross in front of or uh, to my other side of my shoulder. Okay, this is not right. So trying to that that in same line. That's it. Yeah, yes. Attitude lift up from your hip, from your knee, from your knee. Not enough. Yes. Trisha, open up from your knee. Yeah. Better. Good. Okay. And then I see here is better. You go. Oh, how to say? The path is right. But in the end of attitude, you trying to go higher, and then you become turn in. I prefer you have a, a nice uh, attitude. It doesn't have to be so high, but turn out your knee has to be higher than your feet. Your knee has to be higher than your feet. That's good. I don't know how to pronounce a. Uh, Li, Li Tan, right? Li Tan is doing good. Yeah, Leighton. Layton. Yes, there you go. Okay. Cool. Okay, another side. Doing good, Layton. Layton. And seven. Okay. Fong Du. Front. Fong Du attitude. Front. And back. And side. Good. I'm in. Great. Hold do to back. Hold you. Good. Yes. Stretch and I'm in. I'm in. Good. Passe. Okay, one second. Is the music stopped? Suddenly. Okay, but you can still hear me, right? Because I want to share a screen. Off. One second. I will show you. Here. Share. Can you see a white white ball? Okay. So when we do only if this is supporting leg. The path of the only is. Going ah、uh, oh no our this this feet is ala sekong right the path of ala is going this way straight oh well wait we are facing this way this is our smile oh no oh terrible undo let's do smile so the ala path is this way first and then go out and then go this way. So they're more like dumpling shape, not not this way, okay? Only it's not like circle. So it's going in, out, out. Um, yeah, just like how I draw. When we do under down, it's same thing. If we do under down, this way, dun dun dun. 
So it will be this way first, this way. And then our feet is not going behind our hip, it's straight out. All right? Okay, now you can see me. So our only end from the side, we go straight in and then your feet go out like this and then go out. When we go under down, our feet is in front of our hip. Go to passe and straight out. We never do a round around like this, okay? Round around is always in front of, of our hip. All right, there was a project. I can do a PowerPoint of that. Okay, let's do frappe. Five, six, seven, eight. One, and side, and qua. And front, and side, and back, to the side. Double front, clear, double back, clear. Double side, double side. Releve, stay, and then we do releve. Back, side, front, side, back, side, front, side. Double, clear, double, clear. Double side, double side, releve, and stay. Uh, no. Relevate, not the side. From on cross, front side back, side. Front side, back, side. Double front and play, double back and play. Double side, double side. Stay, relevate to, you can, yeah, we can choose to do black or relevate. Twice front side, back, side. And then double play, double play. Double side, double side, relevate. The first time we do relevate, the second time we do relevate is new. Ankwa, front side, back side, twice. One second, let me find the music. Okay, ready? Seven, Ankwa, front, side. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was so excited. Um, Cause I, after I share the whiteboard that I draw, I have to share the music again. Here. Ready? Go. Six, seven, eight. One. Front, side, back, side. Double plie. Double plie. Double side, double side. Relevate. Good. Front, side, back, side. Front, side. Double plie. Double plie. Double side, double side. And sit new, another side. And six, seven, eight. Front, side, back, side. Crispy. Double plie, double plie. And double plie, double plie, relevé. Music. Crispy. Double plie. Double play, double play, to the side, good, beautiful, okay, let's do adagio, adagio, let's do, let's do, fifth position, seven, eight, open to second, four counts front, two, Three, oh, very easy. Just dive for the pay. We can do flat or relevant. Seven, eight. One, three, four. Our basic. To the side. Put the bra in. And I say, come. Look at your hand. Fifth, passe. Our basic, panche. Other side. Four count. One, two, three, four. Let's do relevé or not. One, two, three, four. Our best. One, two, three, four. And I want you to look at out, you to your toes, to the feet. How shape. And close to another side. Okay, very simple. Put four counts, put the bra, four counts, step the pay. Four counts, put the bra back. Four counts, step the pay back. Four counts. To the to inside, look at your toes. Close fifth in front. Passive, our basic. 
seven and eight. From back side punch J. Ready? And Celebrate or not? Beautiful. Stomach in, Nathan. Good. Point your toes and lean. Good. Look at out. Say inside to our risk. Stretch your supporting leg, hamstring, toes up. Nice, another side. One second. And Seven, eight, good, back, and stay, six already hit there, and stay there for two counts, good, as a come, shoulder down, shoulder down, good, Say our best. Good and relax. One more time. Let's do one time. Do two rotate. Three and the four. Two bottom up to the front at seven and eight. One time, two, two rotate, two bottom up, seven and to the side. One time, two, two rotate, two bottom up, seven and eight. Out, roll in, roll out to the front, to the back, both hands on the bar. Seven, another side. One time, two, two rotate, bottom up, six, seven, supporting leg straight. One and two, two rotate. So after front is back, seven to the side. One, turn, two, to the side. Bottom up to the side, bottom up to the side. Side, roll in, roll out, and back, and back. Okay, one, turn, two, to the side. Bottom up to the front, bottom up to the front. One, turn, two, to the side. Bottom up, inside, back. Outside side, the side. Out and out. That's same thing. This is the let's say uh, this is ground bottom up. So it's similar to ground bottom up tandu that we do rush out. Do you remember that our energy is not going out, it's going down. So our and yeah, from brushing to the floor and then have the power to go to the side. That's what we need when we do ground jete. We brush to the floor. That's how we go up. Before we jump high, we have to go clear and go down. Okay, bottom on. Down, bottom on. Ready? Go, both side. And time to do the take. And bottom on. Good, bottom on. Back, inside. Two, three, two, back. Nice, supporting leg. Don't bend it. Two, three, two. Come on, two, the side. Roll in, roll up. Time to from and bottom up to the side, to the back. Bottom up to the back. Okay, good. 
row in, start from your knee. Let's do another side. Six, seven, eight, time to you. Row in, row out, turn to front, and bottom mount to the back, and bottom mount to the back. Good, stay. Beautiful. Okay, let's finish the class right here. Let's move the bar away, drink some water, and come here, let's chat. Thank you, Anna, for organizing this. This is this amazing. Oh, thanks so much for taking taking the time to talk to us and teach us. Um, I guess we can just have everyone ask any questions. Feel free to raise your hands. Um, and I guess I'll start. Um, I was curious what made you decide to move to New York City Ballet? Um, sort of how is it adjusting to Balanchine versus like while dancing at Houston Ballet. Okay. Okay. So I have been dancing in Houston for 10 years. Um, I was pretty comfortable in Houston, although all the reps and the dances are, are great and very challenging for me. Um, but there's one time that my parents was here. They were like, because during the Nutcracker season, it's pretty easy for principal, especially I have done principal role and we don't have to do the divers. And they were like, Oh, Chen Wei, you are so comfortable here. This is not the life that you should have at your age. You need to have more challenging. You have to be tired every day when you come home. Because I, I just go and take class, have one rehearsal of the grandpa, and then come back. They're like, wait, you're already done? Now we can hang out? So it was, uh, you know, they were like, you need to have something more challenging. Yeah. So at that time, yeah, that time, uh, I have already worked with Justin Peck and he was uh, asking me like, um, have you think about go to another company? Not that he asked me to leave Houston Ballet, but I was saying that it's pretty hard for me that if I, well, it's hard for everyone joining the another company when we, were, when we used to be a principal. And also I was thinking to come back to Hong Kong near, uh, move near to my family. So if I go to another company in the state, I will have to use another couple of years to prove myself to get to another level. So I was like, mm, maybe no. And then um, since my parents were saying that I need to push myself to challenge more. And I already had uh, guest, uh, be, be a guest principal in Hong Kong Ballet. But I knew that Hong Kong Ballet, it was, not for me. Um, it, it, the company is great, it's huge, um, and the repertoire is great, but leaving, the reason I don't want to come back to Hong Kong, it was the reason that I want to come back to Hong Kong, because my family was beside me, and um, every time after the rehearsal, you know, I want to rest, have a nice weekend, or maybe like a yoga weekend, but it's hard when my family is around, so New York, it was um, an option that I was uh, invited to audition there last year, January. And I was very excited because um, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, I, I, every time when I dance violin chin piece, it was so exciting. It feels uh, this accomplishment. It was hard, but once you finish it, you, you, you feel the greatness inside of you. Second, um, the city itself, it's... Um, it's great, like I was there for a week to just to rehearse. And I already feel like probably I am belong to New York. 
because uh, compared to Houston, like I, I live there, it's just like my second home versus in, uh, in China. The weather, the culture, um, but there's one thing is the reason why I improve my ballet so much because um, I don't like to go to the club and you know do all those um, stuff. I the most of stuff that I do is to go to the studio and practice and go to the gym because I want to improve as much as possible. And then I got um, and and I find out that <laughs> you, so New York City Ballet it was the one of the um, biggest company in the world. I did not know that because you know. For, for, for myself, New York City Ballet, it, it, it was a company quite far to me. They, they usually never hire outside of the, their own company, right? Most like 99% is from the school. So I did not thought I have a chance to get in. Although, although uh, I dance Balanchine, but I'm not trained in Balanchine um, system. I'm trained in Vaganova. And I knew that a lot of dancers joined the company they trained already in Balanchine. So that's no, not normal, but you know, at least you, you need to be trained that way. So I was so grateful that I'm able to join um, as soloist. Um, and, and the second question is, um, am I, how, how am I adjusting that? I don't know, I don't know yet. It has been <laughs> staying at home and dancing by myself. But the only thing, I would say once I get there, I would focus on the, the reps. Whatever step that I'm learning, just focus one step at a time. I know probably it's gonna be very too challenging. I, I not, let's say not too long, too challenge, but it's gonna going to be very challenging for me um, from not dancing on a stage for almost half year and then join and we have to dance different um, style. But I will be um, patient and I know I have a lot to learn. That's my goal. My goal is not to prove to anyone. My goal is to improve as much as possible. Then that's uh, that, you know, my plan will be achieved just to learn another kind of style. For sure. Thanks for answering my question. Um, Yale's right about an hour and a half away from New York City, so we'll be really excited to come watch you in the fall. Awesome. So, Anna, um, are you all, you all dance in the school or still in, in the university? Um, for Yale, students are actually allowed to be on campus, but all classes are remote, so we've just, we've just been doing everything from our dorms. Um, but normally, actually, New York City Ballet dancer Daniel Ulbrich teaches a class on campus, and he brings in a lot of New York City Ballet dancers. And our, all our faculty pretty much came from New York City Ballet. Um, awesome. That's great. That's awesome. Well, now hopefully I can teach more often. Yeah. I want to see you all. You're all amazing. We'd love to have you on campus in the fall. I will see you there. <laughs> Anyway, I was just wondering, you mentioned Justin Peck, and I was wondering if there are particular pieces, Justin's or other people's, that you're excited to perform when you get to the company. Okay, so there's a, I used to dance Year of Rabbit. So that role is just so musical, and I know he is going to create new pieces every season, every year. Um, that's I think that's more excited about because uh, for me it's quite hard to dance Balanchine style compared to another dance already have trained for years. So it will um, it will be more fun to have my own style that you know the chemistry between me and Justin if we could both bring out ourselves and create something uh, belong to us. Mm, uh, and then I can challenge Balanchine anytime I want. Um, whenever I have the chance, of course, I will focus and uh, learn, learn it. Um, yeah, Balanchine's work, it's, it's exciting. It, um, but right now, I want, want to start something easy. Not, not give myself, all the dancers, not too much pressure. Because they have, um, all the dancers, they are good at what they were doing. So I, 
I would totally understand if I cannot do Balanchine yet. Um, but uh, Justin Peck's um, style is really close to Balanchine, but it's totally, as you all can see, Justin have his own style. And whenever he worked with me, I also bring my own styles, um, chemistry. Um, so I'm excited for that. I also had a question. You were saying yes. that um, you just go pretty much to practice and you go to the gym while we're here in quarantine and you can't perform on stage. So for us, we're also in the same situation. What would be your recommendation to non-professional dancers if we want to be ready and continue improving until we can get back into the studio? Okay, such a good question. So I actually had to perform in the one of the Chinese TV show, um, Dance Smash. I was there and make two final. Um, so that half year, I kind of dance on stage, but the stage is so different than how we used, used to perform. Um, and before that, I was doing a lot of a uh, heat exercise and create a list of stuff that I need to do every day. And because every day we have different kind of a uh, list to do, but work, gym, and dance, it's one of the lists that I need to use two hours or three hours to uh, check all of those. And then I can move on to another things because without the list, we would, because I know um, like daily life, probably is not good at just checking things, but for dance, especially during quarantine, when we don't have a teacher beside us and yelling at us, uh, the checklist is our teacher. So we could follow that and finish it. We don't have to do um, the list every day the same. Maybe we could have two kinds of lists. One is the, let's say the abs and the back and another day is the leg and arms and put bra. So creating a list, it, it would help us. Also, when, when we just started the quarantine, I gave myself a um, challenge of burpees. I did a hundred burpees for 30 days. That was terrible, but I did it. I was still in shape. Um, you know, that would help. And in, uh, what, uh, I'm in China right now, so it's easy to go to the gym. Um, but once I get back to New York, I, I would do the same thing. Like, you know, give yourself a, a list or a contract with yourself. I literally sign it. Like Chen Wei, you are going to do 30 days of purpose, no matter how hard. It is, and I signed it with my roommate, and I did it. It's fun. That's really kind of. Thank you for answering my question. Of course. Hi, Chen Wei. Speaking of the uh, Dance Smash show, I watch all your amazing pieces on the show. Uh, I'm sure you are quite famous in China. I know you're into New York Ballet, but eventually, do you see yourself go back to China, or? Um, What's your plan? Okay, well, thank you for watching my all my dance. It was a quite a journey. Um, you know, as a dancer from outside, like I've been working my whole life outside of China, and then coming back and start to meet all the ch uh, great Chinese dancer in China. It's um, you know, it's great, great experience. Um, my plan is to do everything I can at the moment. That's how I usually work. Um, when I was in Guangzhou, before I go to Houston, the only thing I know is to uh, maybe join a company and be a principal. I don't know which one yet, but I just focus on practicing now. And let's say uh, even closer, I, I have to do a hundred leg of ground bottom mount front side back. That's my goal right now. And once we hit all of those um, work, everything else will be easier. Not that it will happen, but you know, I went to competition and then joined Houston Ballet. And now I'm joining New York City Ballet. It wasn't in my plan book at all. Um, eventually, I think, hopefully I have enough energy, always go back and forward. Whenever it's um, the summer break or spring break, from New York City Ballet, I can come back and do some masterclass in here or some 
maybe some modeling because uh, after dance dance match, a lot of brand they ask me to you know be the model, which is which is fine because in China, uh, I I like the dancers here, but the culture in China is not um it's not the lab uh, developed as well as in American yet. So the audience they for for them ballet is boring. If you know if you understand, they want to see some like dramatic. Um, motion and then uh, a lot of back background, maybe some water falling from the sky. Uh, so, so to me, it's like if I'm in China, I will create all of those whatever the audience wants to watch, maybe electric on the stage. Um, but that's my goal is to go back and forth. Um, I was curious whether you think there could be anything that could be done to help make more people interested in ballet, whether it's in like China or in America. Um, if someone, are you even in America? Um, people find ballet boring and it's not as appreciated as compared to in like say Russia or Europe. Mm. Yeah, every country have a different culture and that's something that we cannot change. The, uh, the only thing we can do is to um, to improve ourselves, to make ballet look great. Um, that's one of the reasons I joined Dance, Sma Dance Smash because a lot of people think that the ballet dancers can, can only dance ballet and everything else is just like robot. And so to change it, not to say it, I, I have to prove it that I can dance um, every, uh, another kind of dance as well, um, which is, I think actually it's easier the ballet dancers, if we train well, we could uh, dance like hip hop and other stuff easier than other dancers. We, you could see Alex Wong, he's so good and everything because ballet is, for me, I think ballet is the hardest. If we can do the hardest, why cannot do the uh, easier stuff? I'm not saying that another dancers, uh, another kind of dance is easy, but um, it's just, we, uh, we de develop our muscles more, you know, higher leg, so the lower leg and let's say more hip or more chest, if we can hear and listen and think about those muscles and listen the culture, how to do it, what way to do it, 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 it will look better and more relaxed then we can achieve that. Um, yeah, it's, it's gonna take some years to make the audience to be appreciate to the ballet. Mm, but I think we are doing great. We are in a good path. Okay. Yeah, love seeing all of you smiling. All right, so um, today's such good class. I really wanna uh, get to know all of you. And if you wanna contact me or have some question that you don't want to ask here, um, you could message me in my, let's say, email or Instagram, DM me. Okay, you, you, you do know my Instagram, right? C-H-U-N-N-E-R, Chen. -E Good. Okay, that's how Anna find me. Um, I was wondering, can we watch your show on YouTube? Um, probably not, right? Oh, you okay. do. How did you watch? You can find um, his pieces on YouTube, but they are all in Mandarin. Uh, but I don't think it matters. Just watch the dance. Yeah. Okay, got it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And I can share the link too if I can find so. Great. Awesome. Yeah, share with me too. Some of because I don't know how to watch besides download the app and then be a um, you know the member of the, that show um but good idea okay so thank you so much really really very exciting and um it was so touching to see all of you still keep dancing and pushing you're in great shape keep doing that thank you so much thank you, thank you. Thank you. have a good night